Okay, so today is January 11th. Where's my lights? January 11th and my restock is January 15th. And can you believe today's the first day I'm starting to make products? Well, I did make my kitty bars and kitty polish already, but like the rest of the stuff I have to sell has not been made yet. Our inventory, most of it's still on the way. We just got a big package today of some new shea butter because I'm trying out a new formula because before I was using unrefined shea butter straight from Nigeria and I've been getting a lot of reviews saying that they can still smell the shea butter smell. So I decided to get refined shea butter from America and I'm gonna mix it with my unrefined just because, let me show you guys how much unrefined shea butter I have. Do you see that? That's a lot. That's like 30 pounds almost, maybe 25 pounds. So it's like, I can't just waste all of that. I have to still find a way to use it and make my money from it. So my mom suggested that I should mix it. So that's what we're gonna be experimenting with today. So we're gonna, let me put my tripod down. Okay, so we're going to be making our vanilla frappe body frosting put a picture of it right here that is currently our best-selling one i think people just like the way it looks it's very original so we got a lot of new fragrance oils too we're trying out new scents along with our new shea butter just so i can see if it's going to be better and we're yeah so let's get started i'm going to go um get out my bowls and stuff i'm going to wash my hands again and then we're going to start show you how our little office area is looking right now this is not everything our table and other packaging stuff is on the other side of my apartment but this is where most of the inventory is going to be going i plan to buy more shelves put them up only reason i haven't bought them yet is because y'all i live on the third floor the third floor with no elevator so whenever i buy stuff i have to carry it up three flights of stairs on my own so it's really hard to buy furniture when you know you have to bring it up the stairs yourself so that's why i haven't bought any shelves yet i just have that like the six cube shelf over there and that's where i hold like the body butters or body frosting that are already done so i am tired already and i barely even did anything but let me just i don't even know should i catch you guys up on what i've been up to because i haven't posted a video in like four months but College got a bit stressful, y'all. Like, very stressful. Running a business and being on college at the same time is a lot harder than people make it seem, especially if you live at school. If I was doing like online school and I didn't have to go anywhere, then I probably, I feel like it would be a bit easier. But online school is hard, so that wasn't gonna work either. So, here's all the orders we have. These are all the orders from December. Yes, it's January 11th, and I'm just doing the December orders. But that's just because life happened. And I said I wasn't shipping orders. Also, I came back from New Year's and then New Year's happened. I came home and I don't know. I didn't get to work like I was supposed to. Okay, so yeah, I'm rebranding re just a little bit. We changed our brand colors. Not, we just added a color that we used to have. So if you've been following my business since I started in 2019 in my college freshman dorm, my first brand colors were red because red is my favorite color. The only reason I took out the red was because I couldn't figure out how to incorporate red without making my business look so dark and gloomy looking. So that's the main reason why we took the red out. But now, she ordered one lip gloss. Now that um, I finally figured out how to incorporate red in my brand without making it look so evil looking because i don't know red and black just looks so dark like if i can find the clip of how my website used to look i'll put it up here like when my brand was red and black it just looked so like medieval kind of looking like like it was cute but i didn't like it so i made it with the red to look more girly i don't know if i'm gonna put the new logos in here i might 
so i made it more girly looking and i really love it because red is honestly my favorite color like i don't wear anything red but i love the color red like i love it so much so i'm so happy i finally figured out how to include the color in my brand without making it look so scary looking because now like when the new website is done because i'm gonna change everything in february so it's gonna kind of look like valentine's day colors because the colors i'm using are kind of like valentine's day colors but you can still use them when it's not valentine's day and y'all gonna see that but let me make sure she only ordered one gloss because lately we've been ordering one, two glosses and i keep sending one on accident and then i have to ship them another one and it's just like no i don't want to do that anymore so you pay attention but yeah like i'm so excited that i'm finally getting my brand to look how i want it to look and I just made these thank you cards and they're so cute and I'm gonna have to change everything because <laughs> these aren't my colors anymore. But it's okay. It is okay. Confetti. But yeah. We are praying that this restock will be a sold out restock. So I know that's what God has in the plans for me. And I'm just so excited and I plan to vlog and record more like last year I was really on my stuff in the summer and then once I came to school the whole recording videos thing just disappeared. It was really hard I'm not gonna lie but I'm gonna so I took a mini break to eat Chipotle but we're back in action. Our body frosting is out of the freezer. It's frozen. I kind of let it freeze a little bit too long. So I let it sit out for like 10 minutes. I mean, I know that's not gonna make it defrost. Oh, actually, never mind. It's not actually rock solid. I'm poking it with a spatula and it's still soft, which is good. Cause that's another thing I learned with making body frostings. You don't want the, let me get my tripod down. You don't want the shea butter to be all the way frozen because then it won't be as fluffy at the end. So now let me plug my mixer in real quick. Um, um, what else do I need? I need grapeseed oil. And we're using our new vanilla fragrance. I'm so excited, y'all. Oh, we, <laughs> we just got these fragrances. I already told you in the beginning. From Crafter's Choice. And they're so much bigger than the old ones we used to buy. And yeah. And I'm so excited to do... We're having a cereal milk body frosting. I'm so excited, y'all. But that's for my birthday collection. Because y'all know, your girls turn it 21 on January 25th. Mm, mm, mm. So that's going to be the second restock in January. Because I have to release my birthday collection stuff. Well, it's not really a birthday theme. It's kind of just stuff I'm releasing on my birthday. Okay. Let's put this in the mixer. Lord. Why is there shade butter on the buttons? <laughs> I'm mixing it on low first and then I'm gonna speed it up when I start pouring in the oils and stuff and I'm so excited because y'all can't hear me I'm so excited because I'm finally trying a new shea butter and we're gonna make our new soap too we're making body bars so we're gonna have body soap and soap for your kitty cat so yeah don't mix it too up the body bar soap is gonna be called whatever the soap's in it so the first body bar we're doing is cereal so it's gonna be called cereal body bar if it says body bar it's for your body if it says kitty bar it's for your kitty please don't mix it up because you will get a yeast infection if you put fragrances on your vajayjay so
So these are the vanilla frappe body frostings. I obviously did not calculate. Well, actually, this was a test. It wasn't a test batch, but I was just testing the formula, and I definitely like it. So I'm about to make more. And the coloring looks good. It's really smooth. This one came out kind of ugly, but it's okay because the lid is going to smash it anyway, so it doesn't matter. But as you can see, it's two-toned. I still have to put the little drizzle on the top. So I'm about to do that, and then these will be ready. And then we're going to make a bunch more. Okay, hey vlog. So it's two days later, and I'm just finishing the vlog. I'm trying to make some of my lip gloss orders. I'm a bit frustrated because my USPS package, I was supposed to come three days ago. It didn't come. So there's some lip gloss orders I still could not fulfill because I don't have the boba balls to put inside of lip glosses. So I'm just gonna do the other orders. I don't have milk tea or strawberry boba or any of the boba gloss. I'm gonna do those glosses now. Text to the post. I'm gonna go back to class because I have another class today. I'm gonna go to class, come back, drop everything at the post office, and then go to the post office and fight them because where's my package? I literally went yesterday and they're like, oh, the package should be out for delivery. I came home, no package. So make it make sense, USPS, make it make sense. And lip gloss tubes come today. It says offer delivery, so at least more of my inventory is here. That is not melted. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me what you want to see on my channel. And I'll definitely bring that for you guys. I miss saying my outro. Aw, seriously. All right, love you guys. Peace.